Fresh from a training course, new team senior constable Stu Ellison and police dog Edge have to prove their mettle. They're on the hunt for seven men suspected of bashing and robbing a man in a Brisbane park. Come on, seek. It's not long before Edge picks up a set. I was told the track's going to be about 10 to 15 minutes old at the start point. Got a start and we went along the tree line towards the creek. Seek him, mate. Where is he? And then we got close to the creek and his search gets more and more frantic. Yeah, which to me indicates there's someone close. The new team is spot on. My boy, stay there! Only ten minutes into the chase, and Edge has sniffed out three men. Stop it! I'll let the dog go! Dog coming! Police suspect there may be amphetamines in this Sunshine Coast house. Find a girl. There's lots of distractions for police dog Jazz. Senior Constable Mark Adams needs to keep her focused. There's lots of dog food, there's other pets. She has been trained to try and ignore other odours and other barking dogs, but sometimes she may be affected by that noise. But so far, Jazz isn't missing a beat. We ended up searching lounge and kitchen. Jess, come around. Three bedrooms, the bathroom. But Jazz didn't find any of the target odours. Mm. Just when it looks like police have drawn a blank, Jazz locks onto a scent in the laundry. Come here, Jess. Her tail started to wag and she stopped searching the whole laundry. She stayed focused on that one point. So that's generally the change in her behaviour. She'll start to really start making her mind up. Yeah, that's what she's looking for. Want to speak? Where is he? Police dog Zach's locked onto a fresh scent in his hunt for three armed bandits in a Brisbane supermarket. Yeah. The scent leads Zach to a back room. No intruders here. This is where the staff are hiding. They're on the phone to police as they continue to review CCTV footage. Staff have just found vision showing the bandits leaving the building carrying bags loaded with loot. Receive that, thank you. I'll come in. Zach, go. On the way out, Zach tracks down the meat department. Ah! <laughs> can we eat knuckle? Straight to the meat section. Sure. No worries at all. Now it's safe for police to interview the staff who were barricaded in the office. We were just filling here, just filling the stock like we do most nights, and we heard some banging, what sounded like a sledgehammer going through some glass at the front, so we just taken the bolt out the back, locked ourselves in the office, hit the alarm buttons. It would appear now the offenders have uh, exited the building via the, the entry point through the broken glass window and uh, have stolen a quantity of uh, cigarettes. Zach's performance in the search was uh, spot on. He's a wonderful dog. He is my best mate. Yeah, good fella. 2,000 kilometres south in Melbourne, it's the calm before the storm for leading senior constable Michelle Dench and police dog Luger. They're about to go on duty. The first call tonight is a major and very serious operation. In a house sealed off down the street, a mentally unstable man has threatened to stab himself and others. We've got a, a fairly big crowd here. We're not going in underdone, just so that we can make contact with him and at least say, you know, yes, are you OK? Do you need help? And we can perhaps take him down to the hospital and, and see that, you know, he gets the help that he needs. If we do rouse him back and put, put in a full quarter? We've probably got about six or seven different units here. We've got a couple of dog squads. We've got security units. They're the armed police. The guns are loaded with beanbag rounds, which will stop the man but not kill him. There are also mental health professionals standing by. And my job at that situation is, should he come out the back and do a runner, say over the back fence, then we've got Luger to track him down and find him. If he does come out and all our options are exhausted, then yes, Luger is trained to go in and subdue him on command. Jesse, come. Oh. 
disappointed. In the first of a series of raids on the Sunshine Coast, Jazz has indicated there may be drugs in this laundry. So we've got a bowl, we call a chop bowl. There's some green leafy material in there and the water pipe was next to it. But it's not the major haul police were after. So it's on to the next address. As always, Jazz has an ulterior motive for seeking out drugs. She's just working for fun and uh, to get rewarded at the end of the day. Jazz gets rewarded through praise and then the ultimate reward is uh, a game with a toy. But no drugs, no reward. That's the way. Hey, bud. That's a girl. Find it. Of all the thousands of interesting scents here, Jazz seems to have locked onto the one she's been trained to detect. That's a way. We'll search that drawer. But Jazz has to finish her search before detectives can check where she's indicated. Come around, bud. Jazz, come around. What's high? After a momentary oh. lapse in concentration, Jazz is back on track. We'll get that search too. What's high? And then Jazz finds something that might bring her the reward she's hoping for. We're just about to go down and knock on the gentleman's door now. In Melbourne, Senior Constable Dench is part of a major operation to subdue a mentally unstable man who has threatened to stab himself and police. I'm just going to trail behind with a dog in case he does do a bolt or they call dog and they need me to intervene. Police surround the house as negotiators enter. You ever see just told us he's seen you? Good boy. Senior Constable Michelle Dench and Luger are on standby in case the man charges through police lines. No, he's talking to him calmly. After five minutes, the man gives himself up peacefully, allowing police to call in the ambulance. He'll be assessed psychiatrically and he may just get psychological treatment or he may get charged. This is a perfect outcome. It's much better than, than getting the dog out and someone getting injured. So yeah, this is a perfect outcome. It's exactly what we're after. While the operation is over in Melbourne, in Brisbane... Ed, come up here, Ed. Senior Constable Stu Ellison and Police Dog Edge are right in the thick of it. Stop right now, let the dog go! Edge has locked onto the sense of three men suspected of bashing and robbing a man. Well, I'm the back of the shopping centre, can't see you. But by the time they get to the road, the men have split in three directions. Edge leads Stu to a back car park. Up. Edge jumped straight over the wall, which to me is an obvious sign that the dog wants to go there, so i just got to follow him. i just got to trust my dog. And he's just started running, tracking through the car park. I just had to follow him. Finally, after a one kilometre chase, Edge may have found his man. <laughs> After four years as a police dog, Jazz knows the rules. She'll only get her reward if police find powder drugs where she's indicated. Yeah, the dog loved that phone. Although no drugs were found inside the phone, there may be an explanation. People do hide drugs in phones, but a lot of the time you get um, indications on phones because they're transferring odour from drugged fingers with odour on them to the phone. But when police check the other places Jazz indicated... Big change of behaviour there. They find a stash of cannabis next to a small weighing machine, a cannabis grinder and several water pipes. Jazz isn't trained to have cannabis as one of the target odours. But what can happen is if I'm rewarding Jazz on a powder drug, but it does have elements of cannabis on it, she'll always give that change of behaviour because cannabis does mean something to her even though it's not what she's there looking for and not one of her target odours. The owner of the drugs was questioned by police and agreed to attend a drug education course. No charges were laid. As for Jazz... She didn't get a reward, because if I was to, she'd end up being a cannabis-trained dog. So we're, we're looking for powders and today we didn't come up with any. So we'll continue on and hopefully she'll get a reward in the next one. 
Senior Constable Stu Ellison and Police Dog Edge are hot on the trail of a man suspected of being part of a bashing and robbery almost 40 minutes ago. Put your hands near! Get on the ground! Sit on the ground! Now! Stay there. Put your hands out by your side. And roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Put hands on your back. Hands on your back. Good boy. Stay there. I'll leave him. If you move, he's going to bite you, all right? Simple. Good boy. All right, stay there. Where's your other mate? Where's your other friend? Don't lie. Where's your other friend? Oh, no, stay there. When Stu gets on the radio... Tango 767, Vicar. ..he learns the other two men were arrested when they ran away from Edge straight into a police cordon. Here, yeah, Vicar, I just located a third offender. It's been an incredible night for Edge. Three men were charged with assault that night. The other four were arrested later. I was very happy. It's what you train for, it's what we come to work for, and then for him to find them is exactly what we hoped would happen. Good boy. For Stu and Edge, it's time to celebrate. Good fella. The new team has proved they've got the right Good stuff. Buddy. Good little fella. What do you got? I just skip and dance and give him big pats and cheer at him the whole time. Good boy. Let him know he's the man. Good boy. Good boy.